Les Mis, a Rob. Um, this is a movie that uh, I'd never seen before. Well, yeah, I'd never seen this movie before. And uh, I wanted to do this 4K and Blu-ray review, so let's talk about it. I thought this was a great 4K. Uh, j just flat out, let's get into that first. Because um, I do have a lot of issues with the movie. I didn't like the movie. It was good. But uh, it definitely was a very flawed film. Uh, this is the 4K right here. It's got, it's really shiny. I like the gold finish to it. It's got a great slip cover to it. You can get this with the slip cover. You should. It just came out, so you should be able to. It's a great looking 4K. Here's the. Uh, I ordered this off of Move. Uh, yeah, it's got uh, lots of uh, special features. Uh, Les Miserables seeing it live. The stars of Les Miserables cre creating the perfect Paris. The original masterwork. Blah, blah, blah. There's just all kinds of read-ups on this movie. Uh, of what's in here? It's a really. There's actually tons of bonus features, which is really great because, you know, we are getting to a time where there's less and less bonus features and special features, all that type of jazz, included on these releases. So it's nice to see Universal, being a studio that cares about that, and actually preserving that on this release. Um, and yeah, the 4K was very pretty. Uh, you know, this movie is a very well-directed movie for the most part. It has a lot of style and flair to it. And so immediately the movie started, I was instantly hooked in just because how great this 4K transfer looked. It actually enhanced this movie quite a bit. And this movie, 4K transfer is something that's been in the rumors in the pipeline for quite a long time. So you can tell that they probably put a lot of work and effort into this one. And yeah, this is a good movie. Um, it's not as great as the original musical just because just this is a really star-studded cast I mean you got Hugh Jackman in here Russell Crowe uh, Amanda Seyfried Helena Bobna Carter and a lot of them do really good performances even Russell Crowe which has been picked on a lot for his uh, performance it you know he's he's really good but the problem with it is like there's a lot of effort going into his performance and he moved me out throughout many points of the movie you will not forget my name like moments like that were just beautiful but his, he was very off key when he was singing he just clearly couldn't do that but his performance was good and he sold me through through his passion through his energy and that's the thing about this movie is just I know these people were really made to be in a musical like this. The only one I feel like who fits it pretty naturally is Hugh Jackman. I mean, he was in The Greatest Showman and things like that. You know, the dude is more in tune with musicals. Uh, everyone else here just kind of felt like they're just not ready, correct people for this part, for this movie. But it was a very well done movie in its own right. It just has a lot of flaws in the filmmaking and just the casting decisions, how it kind of came together. I would say it's definitely worth watching. It's a good movie, but it's on the lighter end of good movies, if that makes sense. It's, it's got a lot of solid, great aspects to it, yeah. But honestly, this is one of the most beautiful 4Ks I've ever seen. So let that uh, be an indication of your buying this issue.